Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing great. So I just want to bring you the preview of the 2024 Lenovo, uh, Lenovo Formula One Brazilian Grand Prix, and is um, is taking place in Sao Paulo. And actually, uh, free practice one is going on now. And this is my preview. So um, reading from the the image above, um, it says Formula One Lenovo Grande Premio de Sao Paulo 2024. That's um, in Portuguese language. And it says um, beneath that, it says Sao Paulo Preview Brazil. And it says Pirelli Formula One, Global Tire Partner of Formula One. So yeah, before we move on, um, thank you for your support. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. So I'm going to look at the car at the top of the image and uh, just tell you where um, the forces, um, the longitudinal energy and the lateral energy is going through it. So yeah, um, looking at um, longitudinal energy, yeah, you have, um, you have, what's his name? Um, longitudinal energy um, acting on the tires uh, you have um you have um the front left um i can see is kind of like in the middle like it's medium yeah and uh, the middle part of the front left is quite minimum which is good and the front right is um towards a little a little bit past medium so i would say like seven out of ten so yeah the front right takes a little bit more damage than the front left is a bit more yellow and in the middle part is green and looking at the rear tires um you have um uh you have um the rear left tire is very very yellow which is the c4 uh, medium tire sorry so, which is the it is very yellow so it's in the middle of the longitudinal um energy and then um, the lateral energy for the rear left tire is 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 just about in the middle, so it's all yellow. And then uh, the front right tire, um, you can see the lateral energy is quite uh, near near to the orange towards the red, so it's near maximum. And then the, um, the longitudinal energy is a little bit greenish, quite yellowish. So I was just just say like let's say six out of ten. So I would say like medium to a little bit past medium. Now looking at the car, um, I'm looking at the um, the longitudinal energies. I can see on the front wing, there's a um, it's quite a maximum. I can see like red on the on the top of the front wings. So there's gonna be a lot of um, longitudinal and lateral energy going through it. And I can see the nose cone, you know, um, on where the front wing is uh, is placed, you know. Um, past the wishbones and that, you know, to, going towards the driver, I can see the halo as well. It's going to take a lot of energy, which is all red. And then where the driver's sitting, you know, is all red as well. And then going towards the engine and the gearbox. So um, the middle the middle part of the car takes a lot of uh, longitudinal and lateral energy. So that's what is called the center of gravity. So um, the middle part of the car takes a lot of energy out of it. And I can see the front wing um so the cone the front cone and the front wing um take a little bit of energy as well but past the first layer of the front wing it doesn't take too much um energy so yeah moving on um i'm going to go to the tire specifications so the tire is 18 18 in inch tires yeah so let's go to the eos camber limit so the eos camber limit for the front here you have minus three degrees and for the rear, you have minus 1.75 degrees. Okay, so the front um, the front tire is more inward than the rear tire. You know, the rear tire is a little bit more stable. And then um, the minimum starting pressures for the slick tires is 24.0 PSI for the front and 22.0 PSI for the rear. And it says subject to changes after um, FP2. FQ2 or whatever. So yeah, moving on, I'm going to give you the tire compounds that's going to be used for this race. So you go to C3, which is the hard tire, which can do about 40 laps or more. Then you go to C4, medium, um, which is the medium tire, 
which can do you good as well. It can do you um, 35 laps or a little bit more. It's just as durable as the hard, but the hard goes a bit longer. And then you've got a C5 soft tire. And remember, this is a sprint race weekend as well. So um, the last qualifying for the sprint race, they use the soft tire, you know, and a soft tire is a quick tire if you want to do some quick stints. And, you know, for the last part of qualifying, I know they use the soft tire as well. So now let me give you the circuit information. The circuit information, you have um, you have traction, yeah. Traction is number three. There's not many heavy braking zones in the circuit, so you don't really have too many traction zones. And um, it's a new tarmac as well. So, um, yeah, you can get good pull out of the last corner. The first corner is okay. Um, first and second turns... You can get good traction and then turn four. So that's why it says medium because there's not too many heavy braking zones and you don't need to put the power down too tough. It's a flowing circuit. Then you got asphalt grip. Asphalt grip is three. So the asphalt grip uh, with the tires um, is three, which is medium. And the traction is three, which is medium. So minimum is one and then the, the highest is five. And then you got asphalt abrasion, which is two. So asphalt abrasion, which is two. So um, the surface is not really, really, um, is really, really abrasive. No, sorry, it's not really, really abrasive. So um, your tire wear shouldn't be too much. Yeah. Then you got track evolution is five. So it's showing that because of the new tarmac here, Pirelli have put track evolution as five to show that, to show that the track will evolve over the weekend. And, you know, it's been a year since the race, Formula 1 race there. So, we'll see how it goes. Then you got tyre stress, which is three. And that's in coincidence with the asphalt abrasion. It's not really abrasive. And then the new the new tarmac uh, will help as well uh, with the medium. So, it's medium for the tyre stress. Then you got braking is three. As I said earlier, there's not too many braking zones in this uh, Grand Prix. So, you can kind of get away with, you know... Um, setting up your car to go really really fast and then you have um lateral then you got lateral um lateral energy you got three so um it means that um it's medium you know the the turns and stuff like that is quite medium and and then the the downforce is four so the track generates a lot of downforce because of the the speed of the track itself. You know the, the the track is very very quick. You know, and you know a lap is like one minute ten seconds. So that's just about um, the fastest lap here was Valtteri Bottas in two thousand and uh, hold on two thousand and eighteen with a one minute ten point five four zero. So I'm just explaining to you just about seventy seconds for a fast lap so the number of laps is 71 laps here yeah. and the circuit length is 4.309 kilometers the race distance is 305.879 kilometers and the lap record is 1 minute 10 seconds 0 0.540 thousands uh, from Valtteri Bottas in 2018 he was driving the Mercedes at that time and the name of the circuit is the Autodromo Jose Carlos Passe. And he was a Brazilian driver. And he's a, actually one of the Brazilian drivers who's won a Brazilian Grand Prix before. And then you have... Um, so let's go on the track here. you got Sector 1. You have Sector 1. So onto the main straight from the last corner. Um, you have a left turn, then a right turn, then onto turn 4. So after turn four, you, you go past turn four, then you're, you you just went past sector. Um, sorry, then yeah, left and right, and then onto turn four, you're just about to approach um, the second sector. Yeah, so you take a left, and then you you drive all the way around. You know, then you go into the second sector, and then um, past the second sector, you know, there's a right turn, then another right, then a left turn, then a right. Then a right turn, then, a, then another left turn, and then you're into sector three, just before the braking zone on to, uh, at the bottom of the hill, because the last corner in Brazil is, is a hill, is at the bottom of the hill, and it rises all the way up. 
you know to the first turn and it's a really really brilliant track and whoever has the formula one game I, I advise you to do some practice there that track is really really a good track and it is really really satisfying to you know get a track you know correct and stuff like that and then yeah um i'm just gonna wrap it up here so this is the preview for the formula one lenovo um brazilian grand prix in sao paulo so yeah here's my preview and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to drop a comment. And don't forget to share the video. So I'm going to leave you here and then on to the next one. So one love. Bless.